I finished this photo manipulation and now I need to color grade it to add that final touch, a final look that will pop this image even more. So here, as you can see, I have really cool minimalistic scene, epic scene, a spaceship is in a huge cave and uh, this guy, the pilot right here is coming to see what is going on with this monument right there and it's really, really cool scene. I really like it, but I have another scene that I like it too. So this is one, but another one with these huge spaceships that are really, really big. And this is more like movie type scene, reminds me of a Guardian of the Galaxy. I don't know why, but it reminds me of that. So I love science fiction and I love this scene too. As you can see, this is a bit different scene. This is a huge spaceship and uh, it's a little bit behind this cliff and everything. And there is another one far away coming into the cave. So I'm, I'm not sure which one I should do. And I like both of them. This is more like epic minimalistic style. And this is more like a movie type style. I would like you to comment down below, which one do you like better and why? I really cannot decide because I look at this for hours and I like both of them actually. So, okay. But today we will go with, I think this movie type scene, I will show you how to color grade this. It's exactly the same. It doesn't matter. I will just choose this one. So what I will do first, I will merge everything together into one layer with shift control alt T or shift command option E on a Mac right here. And I will leave this document. I will copy this and create a new document and paste it right here. I don't want to mess the previous document. It's a big file and it's easier to color grade on the new document. So this is it. Before we color grade this, I just want to say that this episode is sponsored by Envato Elements. Envato Elements is an amazing, huge website where you can find basically all the assets for almost any project that you are creating. They have millions of stock photos, stock videos, audio files, sound effects. They have a huge library of 3D models, which I like the best because you can rotate them and position them however you want to match them to your own needs. For example, you're creating sci-fi photo manipulation. They have tons of sci-fi 3D models that you can use to implement into your photo manipulation. This astronaut here is actually from Anato Elements. And also they have a bunch of other things like Premiere Pro and Final Cut and DaVinci intros, outros, transitions, different effects. Check it out. Uh, they're pretty affordable. The annual plan is just $16.9 per month. And also uh, you have all the assets licensed. You don't need to worry about that. And you can download unlimited assets. So as many as you want. Follow the link down there in the description, check out Envato Elements and enjoy the content there. I'm personally using them a lot. All right, now let's go back to the grading. So this is our scene and uh, I will make a copy of this layer, Control Command J, right click and convert it to Smart Object. And we will go now to Adobe Camera Raw and do a grading there. And uh, I turned it into a Smart Object because I can always go back and forth and change some things if I don't like without doing everything from the start. So let's go to the filter and camera filter and that's it we are here in the camera so let's start from the basic tab right here we have a temperature and tint slider and just by changing these two we are doing a lot so we can make this image much warmer and this is pretty cool look if you're up to it or we can make it more cool and this is also really cool look and we can say okay let's see before and after this is done i really like this but we'll do much more so uh, we can decide either warm or cool or greenish or purplish tint. So this is one way to color grade. I pretty much like this uh, greenish type, but for now I will go with a little bit more bluish tone and a little bit more magenta, just a bit like that. Then let's see here, exposure. We can, we can do a lot of things here. We can make it more dark scene. We can make it more bright scene we can we can go and uh, lower the contrast which is not bad push crank up the contrast which is okay too so here we need to decide what kind of look do we want and because we want to make like a movie type look i want to go a bit with the exposure just a bit and to open the shadows a bit of course we want the contrast not too much and highlights, we want to push these highlights to add the bloom here effect, but we will do that later because if I do it now and go here and add a haze, which I want to do, I will make it too much. So let's go with that and just push the black a little bit down. 
Okay, here I want to push up the texture, uh, the clarity, see what clarity is doing. But again, don't do it too much. Also the texture, basically I'm almost like sharpening, uh, adding a bit more texture to the image overall. And now dehaze, I can dehaze it or I can add a haze. And in this case, I want to introduce a bit of haze here but again, not too much. And now I can go back here and say, okay, maybe I want a bit brighter highlights uh, to make this even more emphasized, or I can go with the whites and do similar things. So I can do both, a little bit of the highlights, a little bit of the whites and do like that. This is not bad, I pretty much like it. So let's go down and let's go to the color grading tab. And here we have shadows, midtones and highlights and also shadows, meets on highlights. Here I like to work one by the time, one, one uh, at a time. And uh, how I like to do it is to crank this saturation slider almost all the way up, just to overdo it to see the colors better, what actually this is doing to the image. And here I want some kind of bluish, maybe purplish. See, this is not bad. Purplish, pinkish, no. So maybe a little bit of purplish tones to the shadows, but just to the shadows. And again, just a bit, not too much. Also, I can brighten up the shadows a bit. See? Like that. And we have a balance slider here between shadows and highlights and other things, but I will not touch it for now. Let's leave it in the middle. And let's go to the midtones. And for the midtones, again, I will crank this up and see what I like better. So this is cool and this is cool also. It's different type of look, but I want to go to more bluish tone like that. And again, just a bit. So not all the way up, something like this. And highlights, we can have fun here. We can make impression that out outer part of this cave is a warm, it's really cool sunny day outside or whatever, whichever planet it is. And that inside is pretty cool and cold and whatever. So we can do that. But I want to stick with this blue tone. So practically, I don't need to do anything about highlights, maybe just to introduce a bit of blue, something like this looks pretty decent. And also, here of the effects, I want to add vignette a bit but to feather it. Okay, I really want that. And also calibration here, we can change the colors a bit. So we can add a little bit more saturation to the greens, uh, to the, uh, yeah, a little bit to the greens, but we are affecting the yellows and reds too. We can do it here too, without pushing the, the blue too much. Also, we can push the colors to one or other side. So now we are changing reds more towards uh, orange and yellow or more towards the purple. So I want more towards yellow a little bit here, but also then blue back more towards uh, green, basically teal. And this is how you can make really easy orange and teal look just by pushing these two sliders. We have this movie type orange and teal look. I don't want this look too much here. I want a bit of it like like that and see the saturation of the of this something like like that okay so let's press p on the keyboard and see before and after it's really cool difference already before and after but i will do a little bit more things here on the effect slider i want to add grain but i will add it at the end let me let me show you if i add the grain now it's really cool it's movie type and we can change the size of the, oops, the roughness. Let's go back with the roughness. The size of the grain, I don't want too much. So if, I, if I'm if i adding grain, I want this subtle result. And this is something that I really like. But for now, I will leave that to the very end. I want to go right here, as you can see, and to add few things, first of all, linear gradient and I want to make this a bit darker this side even more than it is see but just a bit maybe 0 0.35 so third of the exposure and also I can add another radial one and add it 
right here in the center and make it a bit brighter like this and maybe open shadows a bit this is really cool and also we can add another one but this time we can use a brush and brush out this part right here as you can see and darken it this part too because it's a little bit too bright so see like like that maybe yeah maybe lower the highlights too a bit and that's good now we can go back to our basic adjustment uh, adjustments here and let's go to color mixer because i want to see if i would change this color here on back in in photoshop not in camera so let's see the yellows if i go with the yellows and go more towards the orange yeah i can change it here and i really like it i don't want too much like this it's not bad not bad at all but i, I want more like orange hmm although although this is cool so let's leave it like that and 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 let's press ok wow this is really cool so before and after before and after really nice subtle result i really like it so what we can do also here is to go with hue and saturation adjustment layer and i will go to the yellows and here i can change the yellows so if i change the yellows more towards the red here and invert the layer the layer mask control command i and go right here and just with the white i'm using mouse now I'm, i have a pen but let's use the mouse today why not for all you guys who don't use pen tablet just to show that this can be done like with the mouse too all right so i can go and push this a little bit towards the gold and this is not bad at all so this is one version you need again to decide which one you like better do you like to have a spaceship reds and orange yellowish or everything to go to that that reddish tone hmm decisions decisions what i recommend here in these kind of uh, situations when you are not uh, quite sure what you will do just leave it go outside see a different environment look at the trees look at the sky do whatever something else for 10 minutes or something like so just to rest your, your eyes from these colors and then come back and you will have better impression of uh, what you will do and what you're doing here so currently i don't have time for that so we will go with either this or this mm, let's go something in, in between so let's go to the yellows and just go with a bit of that okay and now now we can add a little bit of the glow so for that i will use an eric you already saw me using an eric it's amazing plugin from my friend mario and i highly recommend it but if you don't have it fortunately there are different ways how you can add the glow in photoshop so for now i will use an eric and i will here go to x-ray and see basically everything that is green will be uh, to that the glow will be added i really like it i can colorize the glow and change the color which is pretty cool again what i talked before or i can just leave it without that radius let's see about radius a little bit and also the intensity it's too bright currently so this is pretty nice i will save it and name glow and in a matter of few seconds we are back in photoshop so this is it and uh, let me show you before and after i really love this it's a little cool trick to emphasize the color grading and the overall effect even more so before and after and i can do this several times to add even more glow on these other elements etc but for now i'm pretty happy maybe to lower a bit the exposure and now i can merge everything again shift control alt of shift, shift command option on a mac right click convert to smart object and if you want to add a lens flare here you can do it too i like to use boris fx optics for that this is one of my favorite plugins and uh, you will see why so if i go here to the let's move this to the lens flare 
I can just add any of bunch and really I mean bunch you can see so whatever there is a lot of different different lens flares here so I can do I can do that so basically now I can spend a lot of time here looking for lens flare that I like and add it but now for this occasion I'll just go with let's see I want to get this out of the frame I can go with or without lens flare so so let's apply this and let's see how it looks pretty much it's okay so this is before this is after it's just adding even more bloom here which is not bad I can also lower the opacity of that and overall I pretty much like it and now again shift control alt shift command option e to merge everything into new layer right click convert to smart object and go back to camera filter and here I want to add I want to zoom and to add effects and grain what we talked about before so a little bit of the grain roughness not so much and want to make the grain bigger not like this 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 will ruin everything but maybe I don't know maybe like this I'm looking this part right there so maybe maybe just like that and I will press OK and this is it so let me show you one more time this is before color grading and everything and this is after color grading so it really looks like a Hollywood movie poster and if you don't want to have like this white scene if you want more like uh, 16 by 9 you can crop it and this is cool too so let's let's crop for the thumbnail so it would be something like like this and this is how it looks it's 16 by 9 aspect ratio I really like this aspect ratio too it looks like a grab from a movie like this is a movie scene and let me show you really quickly this is before color grading it's okay but it's a little bit flat and lack of color and contrast and so on and so forth but with the color grading you're adding this final touch a final punch to your image to pop it even more and to really emphasize the story and the look and everything so using Adobe camera you can do a lot here you can color grade it like a movie scene and also using different tools like uh, Boris FX optics or what I didn't use today Nikola FX Pro which I really love too you can push this even more if you want and uh, also Oniric to add different kind of bloom of glow effect it's really cool if you don't have an Eric and you want to learn how to add different kind of glows realistic glows in Photoshop just using Photoshop check out my playlist right here and you will learn a bunch of different techniques right guys that would be it for today have an experiment see you next week in the next one episode bye bye